ladies and gents, welcome. Osmatic here, and we are back on Alioth, and we're back in the factory. It's home sweet home, and I've got things running. I'm making uh, a new ship called a Manta, which uses anti-grav propulsion and warp core and all of that cool stuff, and yet another ship by Gadget Infinite. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about how to um, build ships or constructs in the game using the virtual scaffolding projector. Now, if you already know how to use this, then you probably don't need to see this video. But I'm going to run through step by step how to get this, the virtual projector, virtual scaffolding projector set up in game. So I'll just dive straight in. Uh, the virtual scaffolding projector used to be a player recipe. And uh, it was actually, I wish I'd taken a screenshot at shot of it when it was in uh, as a crafting profession um, it was actually quite expensive to make I costed up the, the materials in week two of the beta so week one of the open beta and uh, to buy all of the resources I think it needed to use a lot of fluorine uh, which I think is cryolite and it cost about 1.7 million to make player made. Now, after last week's patch, the virtual scaffolding projector is no longer player made. It's bought and it's bought from bots. So let's have a look. If I search for scaff, virtual scaffolding projector. So instead of it, the price is dropped to about 1.2 million. Now you can buy them for 11,844 quanta. So there is no reason why everybody shouldn't have one of these. I'm going to show you how to use it because you buy it, you have it in the game and it goes into your inventory like this and you place it as you would do in any other construct. You place it using your place element, deploy element tool on a construct. Now, I think you can do this with both uh, static and dynamic. Um, I'm pretty sure you must be able to place it on a... Um, on a dynamic core because a lot of people are using them for shipbuilding. But anyway, for, for the purposes of this video, we're just going to slap it there onto this static core, which is my factory. Right, so there it is. And um, if you right click on it, here's all the commands that you can use. And the important one is set file name. Now, so what you need to do is find a, a .obj 3D file of whatever it is that you want to recreate in the game, or perhaps you just want to display it. I'm actually using it to uh, shape a ship that I want to build, which is going to be an enormous challenge. So here's what we need to do. And I'm going to drop to, um, to just quickly open this window here so you can see what's what. This is your um, folder, which is your C drive default on the PC. Users, for me, it's my username, documents, so you need to look in your documents folder, NQ, dual universe, and that's this folder here. Okay, and when you go into that folder on Windows, by default, it only has screenshots. So you have to manually create the holograms folder. Okay, so uh, manually create that holograms folder, and then wherever you obtain your .obj files, that's where you want to put them. So I have a Cylon Base, Cylon Raider, and Cylon Raider 2. These are OBJ files that I've grabbed for, for free. It's the Tinter webs. And so basically you need to create uh, this holograms folder, all in lowercase. And once you have that, you can go back into the game. And when you're in the game, you then need to call up the file. So what I'm going to do is show you very quickly. You need to type it in, set file name. Now I have Cylon raider okay and there you go there's the cylon raider but hang on it's pointing straight up at the sky and it's enormous so what the uh virtual scaffolding projector gives you the option to do is change the scale so i'm going to change this right the way down to 0. point let's try 0. 0.2 okay so there we go, now we have that in there, but I obviously don't want to build it standing on end. Right, so here's where um, you start to get into the commands that you need to move this around. And bear in mind, I'm going to use this as kind of like tracing paper or a straw model within which I can start to build the voxels and place the engine. So it's kind of like a really good way to give you a guide on, on building things. You can do it with buildings, you can do it with ships, anything that's static or dynamic. Potentially you could do it with a space station as well. So you could potentially stick a, a core, uh, a space core 
in space, obviously, and uh, then slap a virtual scaffolding projector on it and start to build using that. So, here we go. Here's the command. So, um, so set rotation. I think this one is the uh, x-axis. And if I do that at 90, it should flatten it. There we go. So that's done the x-axis. Okay, I'm not going to rotate it anymore because that's why I want it. We get the idea. You have the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. Um, but you can move it around. And like, let's say if I just jump into building mode and go up here, let's say I look at this and think, well, actually, that's too high up. I want to bring it a bit lower. You can set the position as well. So uh, let's bring this down a bit. So we set position and you can set and it's X, Y and Z and Z comes down towards us. Z or Z, however you pronounce it. You want this as a minus. So I'm going to say, let's say this is minus 60, not 600. There we go. Minus 60. Right, that's brought it down into a position where I think, okay, it's big, but I can work with that. But it's actually maybe too far over that side, so I want to bring it back slightly. So I go to set position, and I think it's this that I need, I think, if I'm right. Let's see. So if I put that at 60, that should bring it towards me. There we go. Right. So it's too far over there, so I'll just change that a little bit. So um, put that at 40. Okay, so that's brought it maybe, okay. Let's change it again, 30. So, okay, right. for the purposes of doing this, I'm gonna say, okay, well, that's too far over to, uh, to that side and it's still too big. So I'm going to actually set it and scale down and I'm going to do it as 0 point. No, two. Let's try that. Okay, that's a bit small. <laughs> uh, so let's do uh, point one two. There you go. That seems about a reasonable size. I can move all of these containers out of the way, or I can just shift this over to the left. So we're looking now at going that direction. You get the idea, anyway. Uh, so I set that at about 30. It should shift it over a bit. Oh, a bit too far. There. Right. It's kind of where it's in a, a place where I can work on this now. But it's too big, I think. I don't. Do I want the Cylon Raider that big? And this is where you can start to play with the scaffolding projector and um, set it to. Where you want it to be so if I take that down to 0 point or just 0 point 0.1 let's take it a bit lower again let's try 0 09 okay a bit smaller that's manageable so um there you have it that is the virtual scaffolding projector now the thing is what you would need to do and this is really important you can now place a dynamic core have one quickly see if i have one i can spare that's static dynamic core yes there we go mm -hmm. no i don't want that so i want to place a dynamic core so I can place this here move it up and say okay in in this ship where do I want it I might want it let's just say it's going to stick it in the middle of there for now uh, Cylon Raider I'm going to take this apart afterwards so Cylon Raider Deployed. Okay, so we now have we're now in a position where we can start to build. So I might want to move that a bit. Let's say I want it right in the middle of the body of the ship. There, you get the idea. And then um, place that. And so then all you need to do is to start building your voxels around that core, and you use this as the guide. Obviously, it's way too big for an excess, but you get the idea. 
really important that you need to do though is um, once you've saved the position keep and you started building the ship you can keep this in its position but if you log out and log back in again it will it will reset so this will disappear and it will reset so what you need to do is just very quickly make a note of these write them down take a screenshot with your phone or whatever and the scale and the rotation so make sure you know all of these things that when you started building and you log out and you come back the next day and you want to carry on building you're not struggling to try and fit the wireframe around the voxels or the, the the elements that you've started to build as part of the construct and that ladies and gentlemen is it it's a really nice tool to have and it's now really accessible because it doesn't cost 1 1 1 1.7 to 1.7 million it now only costs you 11,800 uh, quanta so there you have it now i'm quite excited about building this uh, cylon raider but i'm going to be completely honest uh, i have to build all of my voxel libraries first which i have i think in here uh, yeah, there we go. So I have lots of sets of voxels and I have the reactors and things um, that I need to build before I can start building this. And uh, that's it. I really hope this has been useful. Few people didn't know how to get this set up. As long as you create that holograms, uh, holograms, holograms, yes, with an S, holograms folder in your users. Uh, user username documents nq dual universe holograms so you put your obj files in there and you just need to make sure that you know the name uh, i'll show you another one quickly which is um this one is really funny because it gets really big and it is cylon base so any of you who know uh, battlestar galactica may well know the um <laughs> it's huge may well know the um the side the base star set that scale right right down oh gosh let's try and shift the nine over there still too big oh goodness uh, right out oh there we go it's tiny now <laughs> but you get the idea you can dabble around and play with it but you now have a model that you can work to obviously i wouldn't be building a, a so if you wanted for example to build your own space station and you i'm not going to do i'm not going to do this myself but if you wanted to build the cylon base star just because you can then that's how you do it that's a bit... there we go that's better nice big size so there you go ladies and gentlemen that is how to use the virtual scaffolding projector as a means for guiding your static and dynamic and space builds in dual universe thank you very much for watching please 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 like and subscribe it really really helps at the moment i've had such a good response to these dual universe videos and i really enjoy making them and please don't forget i stream on twitch tuesdays thursdays and sundays sundays is what we call the weekend wild card most weeks uh, tuesdays and thursdays i'm streaming dual universe mostly factory building mining and all the stuff that everyone else is doing but come along for the chat because the chat is what we do more than actually the gameplay and it's fun and we've got a great group and uh, i'd love to see you there anyway thanks very much again for watching i'll see you in the next one bye for now